everybody, thanks for stopping in. People ask me what my channel name means a lot, and the TOS part stands for Thoracic Outlet Syndrome. It's a, it's a condition that affects the nerves and the circulation in my arms, and so they hurt all the time, and I can't really use them that, that well. So uh, I enjoy fishing, but unfortunately when I go fishing, I can't really hang on to a fishing pole for long. So I designed this rod holder, and I just... When I do fish, I just throw my line out there, stick it in a rod holder, and once in a while I'll get lucky and get a fish, but they're usually small, not very big. But uh, Friday I went and I caught a really nice one. So um, I shot a quick video clip of it before I um, cut it up. So I'll show you that. And then we're gonna take one of the fillets and bake it in my toaster oven. So let's get toasting. I just got back from fishing in the Petaluma River and this is an 18 and a half inch striped bass that I caught in there and uh, that's not huge for a striped bass but a uh, striped bass has to be 18 inches to keep in there and this is only the third one of this size that I've caught so I get kind of excited when I do get one so I've been fishing there for like five years and this is only the third keeper that I've caught. And I haven't had a very good year down at the river, so uh, I'm pretty excited. So um, I'm going to go fillet them and I'm try out my new um, utility knife that I bought and see how that works as a fillet knife. And then we'll come back in a day or two and cook them up. Okay, I just pulled my fish fillet out of the fridge. I cooked the other one last night and I'm going to cook it the exact same way. Um, this is soaking in a little bit of salt water. Usually after I fillet my fish, I put them in a little bit of a salt water and just put them in the fridge that way. I think it gives them a little bit better taste. I rinsed my fish off. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil on both sides of it. You can see what a nice fillet this is. This is actually just the perfect size fish for eating. And this is parchment paper I put it on here. There we go. Get this side. Now I'm going to season this with some lemon pepper. Striped bass is really good eating fish. Of all the fish I've caught, I think this is probably my favorite to eat. There we go, a little lemon pepper and a little bit of dill weed. Just keep it real simple. The nice thing about cooking this in the oven like this, this dill weed won't burn. If you do it on the stove, I mean it's dried leaves so it tends to kind of burn. Okay, that looks good. Let's get it into the oven. I turned my oven to bake at 450 degrees and we'll just put this piece of fish in there until it's cooked through, which shouldn't take long. It's been about 10 minutes and I'm thinking this fish should be about done. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks beautiful. Let's get it out of there. Okay, time to taste it. And you know, I'm not even gonna bother putting this on a plate because it'll probably just fall apart anyway. Look at that, nice and flaky and juicy. That is some good fish. Like I've said, I've caught quite a few varieties of fish over the years and I think striper is probably the best eating. My wife doesn't even like fish and she, she really liked this when I cooked it last night and she's hard to please when it comes to fish. <laughs> so that is saying something. And you could use this recipe with other types of fish too, you know, tilapia or salmon or whatever, but it's not going to be the same as with fresh caught fish. <laughs> Thanks for watching you guys and I'll talk to you next time.